Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Lego uh, Jurassic World. Today, we're going to do the Lost World. Uh, maybe. Oh, we actually have to jump in. <laughs> Bet you didn't know this. The Brachiosaurus has no predators once it reaches its teenage years. That actually doesn't surprise me considering how big it is. Well, Dr. Malcolm, here to share a few campfire stories of my uncle. I was there, I know what happened, and so do you. Ingen is my responsibility now, Doctor, and I will jealously defend its interests. Hmm. Oh. You were right and I was wrong there. Did you ever expect to hear me say such a thing? Isla Nubla was just a showroom, something for the tourists. Site B was the factory floor. That was on Ina Sauna. A few weeks ago, a British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. The boarders used the incident to take control of Ingen from me. OK, so there's another island with dinosaurs, no fences this time, and you want to send people in. I need a complete photo record of those animals. You didn't contact Sarah. She'll be fine. And believe me, the research team was not a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation, and it's leaving right now. Um. <laughs> uh, you can't shave three days off my deadline. Expect everything to be ready. I'm not fully supplied. I haven't field tested any of this stuff. All right, people, we're going nowhere until we get these vehicles fixed up. Isn't this the one with the double wide or double long trailer? I thought it was. You know, I should probably be doing this at range instead of up close. Because it goes much faster. Much faster. What did I just say about range? <laughs> what has gotten stuck in there? What's gotten stuck in where? Okay, so this guy can only shoot targets as well. Can I shoot these? I bet there are some that I can shoot. Or not. Bits to stay in. Can y'all give it a try? So, oh, a wrench. I, see, I use the mallet. See, that explains it. Hey, hey, hey. he's purring like a kitten. A really, really loud kitten. <laughs> oh, thanks. All right. So, we got one Jeep ready. What's up? Academic characters can solve complex equations. Okay. Press Y to ride on Lego tires. I didn't even know that we could, could ride on Lego tires. All right. I'm guessing I have to get the tires painted or something. Dr. Malcolm. Oh, yeah. We need... Mr. Bone Dude for that. All right. What? Interesting. Oh, that's not the right color. Green. It's meant to be green. 
The idea is that the dinosaurs can't see us. Or do you want to be eaten by a T-Rex? But it wasn't me. No fair. <laughs> and I'm not going to look down you again. Stupid noggle. Okay, so green is yellow and blue. Much better. Okay. So there's car number two. We can't do anything with that. We can't build those. We could ride tires. But why ride the tires until we figure out where they need to go? Because that might tell us where they need to go. Huh. Look at that. All right. Well, that's one way to get a mini kit. And I like it. All right. Now, what else do we have in terms of things to destroy? At least that are on this side. Because I can see there's some on the other side. That is too funny. And I, I need half air on the tires here, guys. All right. So, you think you're up to a catch of endurance, Carlo? Yeah. I'm not completely useless. Are you sure? So I was right. What? <laughs> Nick Van Owens, this is Ian Malcolm. Nick's our field photographer. Ian is our Ian. Ian is our Ian. <laughs> Welcome, Nick. So you're the photographer, huh? Oh, just a second. I know we've got the key somewhere. Is that it? You'll have to fix it later. <laughs> nope. I don't have to fix it later. That's the beauty of doing it this way. It's no use. That engine ain't budging. You got any idea how to push that in without pulling a hamstring? Oh, man. I never should have taken home the engine hoist to shift my couch. Never should have taken what home to shift your couch? Did he take home an engine jack to shift his couch? I mean, yeah, sure, you can do it that way, but there's better ways to do it. Oops. All right. Yep. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, you can fix this, right? There we go. All right. I thought for a second that was going to be a... Uh, what do you call it? 
That was a lot of stuff to just drop these three things. I haven't even done anything yet. Here we go. It's on a conveyor belt, dude. Wow. Okay, okay, stop. She's home. Thanks. This is a high, high hide. You know, you go up and you hide. Hide. Actually, it's put up in a very convenient fighting height. Yep, very convenient fighting height. All right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Because why not? It's where we need to be next, right? Putting the mobile lab together. Bye. I'm going to need you in a second. You know that, right? <laughs> Goober. Oh, man. That is too funny. Did you just go back to Oh no, okay. Good. Although you sent it back down without Oh. I think it automatically went back down. There we go. Can you shoot these? No. What can shoot those? I wish I knew. Ah, I was like, what does that get us? Uh, is someone meant to be putting a roof on the mobile lab? Or is it meant to be an open top? You know, it might rain on the island. At the very least, we should consider making it a convertible. Convertible, huh? I don't know if that's what we want to be doing with the mobile lab. Okay. I love how many trash cans full of bones there are. Okay, what are... Th oh, there's some kind of teleporter, I'm guessing. Hmm. All right, Mr. Mechanic. Let's get this thing fixed. Are you just going to slide right back off anyway? Oh, I do have to control it. That's interesting. I don't even have to put it in the right place and put it back down. There we go. She hides in here, doesn't she? That is a big island. Still trying to wrangle up that pig, huh? All right. 
Well, here's the other half of the level. Built a location sensor into Dr. Harding's satellite phone, so we should be getting a reading. So you mean to tell me that it's around here somewhere? I can't shoot this thing? Okay, just three. Those I can shoot. Yes, I know it's for Ellie. Okay, so three of those. Three of those, huh? Hmm. Alright, I think we can try to get those. I just have to remember to keep an eye out for them. And remember to bring Ellie back here later. Oh, seriously? No, 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 no. All right, yes, you have your flare. That just sounds like a grand idea yelling for Sarah. What was Sarah's relationship to Ian? Wife? Ex-wife? I don't remember. Really? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Is that... No, not quite. There's everything. Anvil. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it works, right? All right, boys. I need one of your helps. Seriously? Come on, guys. Alright, let's get back up here. Let's actually just knock down the thing this time. That way we can just come back up whenever we want. And now I can go after this. That took too much time. You gonna come back down or you're just gonna sit up there? Something big. Or something small. That would be uh, my defensive measure. Heart. Woo. Let's get that blocked off. No more little guys. 
they are super annoying. Is this a trampoline? Ish. <laughs> no, actually, it's not. Oh, that's cool. I believe you can track. Nope. Baldy can, though. Sarah! Eddie. Sarah Harding! How many Sarahs do you think are on this island? That's a good question, actually. How many Sarahs are on this island? At least I don't need all three. That would be, could be rather annoying. It looks Stegos in the background there. Okay, can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. Wow. This is this is magnificent. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. <laughs> I love Ian's character. Took care of all three of them. Let's actually switch to the guy with the gun. Makes things a little bit easier. Alright. I guess in order to shoot this thing multiple times, I actually have to shoot it multiple times instead of just not shooting it multiple times. <laughs> and there's number three, by the way. For those targets that we need to look out for. Sweet. So, so far, at least as far as I can tell, um, we've gotten... One mini kit per level. I think. I might have missed one level getting one. But I'm pretty sure we've gotten at least one per level. There's True Survivor. And a nice picture. These images are incredible. Legendary. Yeah, Nick, we're going to want to run. Oh, hello, Sarah. And I never thought in a million years how I'm going to get you to come here. Hey, Eddie. Hi, Sarah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those animals have just walked by. Did you see them? It's a family group. If I can just get a shot of the nest. I'll be right back. Sarah, no, no. Stay there. Sarah. Sarah. She's much too close. Yes, much too close. Look at all the toys, though. Hi, buddy. Okay, so rampaging dinosaur. Look at all these studs that just go away. I think I have to get it to hit this thing, don't I? Okay, well, I can get it to hit that anyway. Where's the next one? Here's the next one. Please. I'll just stand here until you hit it. 
Ow. <laughs> Okay, can I get you to... Nope. Apparently I can't. Right here. Okay, now we need the one that's over here. Let's get this built. Whatever it is, we're not going in there just yet. I'm betting that's bone over there. Haha! -ha. There's the amber, and I'm betting that amber is uh, Stego. See if we can build this. Kind of doubt it. Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so, but I had to check. It is indeed bone. this going to do? Oh, it gets it stuck. Are you always thinking with your camera? Oh, boy. Uh, what now? Okay. I was wondering where the next one was coming from. I'm betting the final one's going to be on from the wall. So let's get this built. Let's get in it. In. <laughs> Dang. Camera, picture. There we go. Why do these always last so long? <laughs> Some of these levels, man. Some of these levels. They just keep going. Thank you. All right. This should be the last one. Now, I don't know if it's the last bit of this level, but... Wanted to make dinner. Wanted ready when you guys got back. Kelly, Kelly, you have no what idea. Lock her up What's curiosity. You really came Eddie? all that way. Uh -huh. Hello, engine. I don't get it. It says engine on the on the side of that chopper. I don't get that. Why why would Hammond send two teams? Ah, uh, and that's how it all starts. Yep. <laughs> that's how it all starts. All 
All right. We did get True Survivor. Right at the end, though. Close to the end. We get one or two. We got three. Interesting. All right. We got Eddie Carr. We got Ian Malcolm Isla Sorna. We got Nick Van Owen. Sarah Harding. Yeah, they are husband and wife. Carlos was unlocked. Carlos. John Hammond Lost World unlocked. Okay. We also got the Gatherer. The Observer. The Van Owen. <laughs> and a Stego. Hello, Mr. Stegosaurus. True survivor and level complete. Beautiful. And we're on that again. Yep. Okay. Well, I am going to end today's episode off here. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there. <laughs>